In Chinese and Cantonese culture, whether you grow up Buddhist or not, Cantonese people grow up showing, learning how to show respect for your ancestors. When Anthony Lee puts paintbrush to this canvas, each stroke develops a deeper connection with an ancestor, Vincent Chen. This is just some way for us to kind of show some love uh, to the person on the other side. Vincent died before Anthony was born. But the artist knows the story of the Chinese-American man killed by two white auto workers in 1982 in Detroit because of the rise of the Japanese auto industry. It's crazy that um, those men could even get away with that. We want justice! Vincent's death became a rallying cry to end hate against people of Asian descent. Forty years later, Asian Americans are still fighting racism as there are reports of nearly 11,000 hate incidents against Asian American and Pacific Islanders nationally since March 2020. Anthony Lee hopes his tribute mural to Vincent Chin can help change the conversation. It definitely hit home on many levels and um, it's just, it was pretty shocking just like like even Vincent Chin's mom reminds me of like my mom or my aunts. Does that carry a special meaning or weight? Uh, because you two are the same nationality. Yeah, on many levels because um, living in Detroit as an artist, I had been looking for my Asian community, at least our artist community for the longest time. Anthony is no stranger to sharing his artwork and including a message. In addition to a collection in his home studio, he's painted murals all over Metro Detroit, from the Detroit Kung Fu Company to the Whistle Stop Diner. The American Citizens for Justice asked if he could do this tribute to Vincent Chin for remembrance and dedication of the 40th anniversary of Vincent's death. Would you say that working on this project has been therapeutic for you? Deeply, deeply. I want them to know that Vincent Chin needs to be remembered because the fact that this could happen to him means that it could happen to any of us. This mural will be unveiled in June at a ceremony for Vincent Chin. It'll be at the intersection of Peterborough and Cass and will be bolted into the ground for at least a month. In Madison Heights, I'm Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.